So you've been dieting for a while now, and you got a phone call from one of your friends. It's on a Friday night. Yeah. You want to go out for drinks. You want to have maybe hit some happy hour, maybe go clubbing afterwards. Yeah. But you're dumbfounded. You don't know what to do. You're like, man, I really want to have some drinks, but you know, I'm on this diet. I'm cruising. I'm doing really good. My motivation's high, but I want to so hang high. out with my friends. I want to have some fun. I don't want to be a hermit anymore. Dude, who so who wants to be that? I'm person? just. You know what? You go out with your friends. Yeah, you, you know, do. you go out for happy hour a little bit. Yellow. You actually just drink water. You're doing really good. You avoid the chips and salsa. Di you have just a diet soda. Yeah. I'll have a diet soda. It looks like I'm drinking, yeah. but I'm not. Yeah. So it's sneaky, right? So you guys go to the club. You know, you're clubbing a little bit. You're a little bit relaxed. You're hanging out with your friends even more. You're seeing that they're getting drunk, having a lot of drinks, and then finally they convince you. How low you is give your motivation to temptation. Right now? <laughs> motivation goes down. You're just having a lot of fun. And now Uber nowadays is so much cheaper. Dang. So you can just Uber we're home you don't have to be the dd and all this is going through your mind like yes. so yes like, so hard you're, you're tracking calories yeah. and you track carbs in my fitness pal you open up my fitness pal and you're like huh how much is vodka worth oh maybe i can fit it oh it's zero carbs damn zero everything you know what throw me a shot meanwhile all your your calories and your macros are gone for the day so this is like fitting on a shoe that's like seven times too small <laughs> I can do it! Yeah! <laughs> so you find the entry in my fitness pal that says zeros across the board. Throw me a shot. Yeah. You know what? Make it a double. Oh! Yes. So you do one shot. Yeah, and then you, you do, do another. Yeah, you do. You do another. Yeah, you do. Then you're about 10 shots in. You're like, you know what? The heck with this. I came in with a plan not have any drinks. I even brought my protein bar in my oh, pocket. Oh, yeah. Because I was going to have some protein later. So dedicated. You're at the bar having a lot of fun. You know what? You just don't care anymore. That hunger's kicking in. Ugh. Everyone around you and all your friends want to go hit up some pizza. Oh. So they go grab a slice. Filibertos. But instead of eating that protein bar, you used it earlier. You left it at the bar as a coaster. Heck yeah. We were sliding it around the table. Yeah. Now it's just smashed because of all the beers and all the shots. Slamming it. Heck yeah. Drinking it. So you go get some pizza. And then you're like, you know what? The other half of your friends want to go to Filibertos. So you already ate pizza. Now you want to get Filibertos. Oh yeah. You look up the macros the or the games. calories in Filibertos. <laughs> what? Yeah, you're scrolling through and it's just this. It's you like, guys, oh. yes! Look! Oh. One burrito! Oh, one burrito? Oh my god! It only you has guys, four grams of fat? Yeah, only 250 calories in oh. this one burrito! Nobody the... said like what kind of burrito was. Never mind, it was like a tortilla with a napkin inside. Yeah. But it definitely is totally. one burrito for 250 calories. So you know what? That's not too bad. I'll too have good two. To be true. Oh my. No big deal. You're gonna be feeling amazing when you wake up. Yeah. You have fun for the night, you have your Filibertos, you have a little bit of pizza, and you had 10 shots and you wonder why you gained five to 10 pounds the next day. Dang. You know what? I have a story about that. So I used to be a cop and uh, it was always the funniest thing because even when people like would get a DUI and you ask them to get out of the car and they're literally like falling out and there's like beer cans like piling out of the car <laughs> every single time without fail. You ask them how many drinks they have and two beers, two. Oh, you want to yeah. know why? Because they remember the first one when they got there and the last one no. as they left. Everything in between becomes like... They just like, forget. Just the blur. <laughs> Wiped under the, the rug. No, ma'am. I only had two beers. Only ever. And that's when all of the, the Filibertos and the uh, smashing of the protein bar and the snacks yeah. that are sitting on the totally. table and... Totally. Everything else occurs <laughs> during the one and two. So we've wiped that out. You can have alcohol on your diet. Now, one quick way to factor that into your day is find out the total calories of the drink, divide that by four, and put that in your total carbs. So you're actually wanting to use the calories that's in the drink, put it into the equation of carbs. That's an easy way to do it. But the problem is, is where when people drink, they end up eating food a lot because they are just getting more relaxed. They're not present. They're, they're really into like, oh, I feel really good. The inhibitions are down. You give in a temptation and all your motivation just kind of goes out the window. You're like, I'll just get back on it tomorrow. I'll be good for a night. I deserve this. And the problem is, if you do deserve it, you know, one night every now and again, totally cool. But the problem is this becomes a repetitive habit habit across weekends. And then that's where we have a lot of sabotaging going on. Yes. <laughs> when you drink alcohol, drink responsibly, track it, be say, honest. Say and no to one burrito from Filibertos. And have fun. <laughs>